from one creative to another. This visual artist is training many others, including his son, to think out of the box when it comes to creating works of art. We see it in this maiden exhibition in Badagri, Lagos. Coconuts. Loads of them can be found in the coastal town of Badagri, Lagos State. A group of artists have decided to utilize them in this maiden exhibition, which shows how residue from this fruit can be used for arts, crafts, and design. Now we have what we call a sample of Nigeria coconut artists that comprises of professional artists and craft acts that uses coconut shell for their art and craft. So, and now we we'll find that out most of the processors that uses coconut, what they do is to use the meat in the coconut. And if I will ask you now that, okay, you as a person, if you eat coconut, what do you do to the shell? The rest is story. You throw it off, or if you don't throw it, some may even like the processors now, what they do, they will put the shelves together and use it to make fire while cooking, which might result to air pollution. Some who don't do that, they can't use every shelf they are throwing off. So some will throw it anywhere they see. And that may block our drainages or even littered everywhere up. So that's good bet to what we are doing here today that we are using this exhibition to tell the world that instead of throwing your coconut shells anywhere or anyhow, instead of throwing them around your premises, even if you throw a sharp coconut shell on the ground and the shell falls on it, it will damage the shell's body. So instead of doing that, why don't you turn it to a wet making material? So that's why we titled the theme of the exhibition, Wet in Waste. So many worlds you can create from waste, which is coconut. Our environment is surrounded with coconut. We have coconut shells around. So we are now telling the world that instead of throwing them away or using them to make fire, you can get so many adorable things from them that you can use to decorate your hotels, your homes, and the rest. The beauty of the Waste to Wealth Crusade is seen in the array of works that have been created from it, as this group has infused other elements in their images to make it look more appealing and intriguing. I use the fowl here just to represent man. Like anywhere you are in the gathering, there will be that particular person that is so favorite to the rest. Even in the classroom as a teacher while teaching, you have some particular student that, oh, you know, oh, these ones are my own students. You understand? If you want to ask questions, oh, Saki, you answer the question I've read. So I am using this now to represent man. And instead of painting the, the chosen one, they are white. I decided to use yellow and embellish the fowl too with other things. And the, on a lighter mode, if you kill a fowl, you will use vegetable. So that's why you have leaves there. The title of the work, Equal Rights, Equal Rights, as you can see, it has um, two figures um, in yellow and red, equally proportioned in the middle of the work. Just trying to talk about, um, instead of treating one gender better than the other, you have to give both genders the same treatment. No one is higher than any. It's just about break the bias. That's basically what this work is about, Equal Rights. Multimedia artist Nathaniel Hodonu is the one leading the pack as he's trained artists and giving them room to fly. 
I must say I have the larger number of works here because I am putting, like I've trained several students in workshops, trainings and they are about, and I am only using this one now to create a platform for them where they can showcase their talents to the world. And doing this again, we want to bring in more people. Our youth are there loitering about, looking for jobs. I have an undergraduate child who is here today. He has his works here too. So instead of after graduation, you're looking for a job here and there. You can go into this. So we want to use this exhibition to bring in more people who will be doing this. Little way, we have started something. This is another venue which government can put in governmental effort to bring out employment for the teeny youth. No work outside there. We have a lot of graduates roaming in the streets, but with their knowledge, the knowledge they have acquired in the former university, joining it with this craft work. So, if government can come to our aid and collaborating with us or encouraging or giving us an enabling environment to strive to work in mass producing of these things. So we generate more employment. It's an eye opener. Um, I've seen things that have, I mean, made my brain just go creative, thinking of things, making things out of things that people throw away. I mean, I've been thinking. It's um, a way more people should think in our country today. today. There's so much wastage. And um, if only a lot more people will think of how to make profits from waste, I think we'll have a better country. The cost of art material has hit the roof due to the state of the economy. Asatis is encouraging his colleagues to think out of the box because what they need to create that amazing work of art might just be lying in their backyard. 